So what do you say, Matt? Drinking sodas in the morning. Well, yeah. Well, clearly, I mean, that's how we kick off every morning. We're going to do a day hike today uh, after a pretty gnarly storm. And really, the only reason is because the mountain's there. I think uh, yeah. we'll, we'll probably get a pretty good shot at the failing today. I think so. <laughs> it's sketchy. Looking not... pretty cloudy up there. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's it's sketchy. The weather showed that there's a little <clears throat> bit of snow happening right now. So sure. I think we're well prepared. But... Plus it's a steep trail. Yeah, no, nothing better. So <laughs> This one usually has the lower amount of carbs. Well, don't you want carbs if you're gonna be if you're gonna be on the mountain? What do we got there? Clear. Whoa, dude! Come on, bro. Nothing. That. that no. Hold that back up. Japanese clear broth. <laughs> dude, that's basically water. <laughs> it's hey, flavored like, have, water. Have, have a nice. Have a nice boiling water. Yay. Good stuff. We're looking at the mountains right here, and. Um, there is snow much lower than what we're used to. See what ends up happening. I mean, we're only going to go as far as it's safe to go because uh, I'd like to come home to my family. So that was kind of down what I just said, huh? <laughs> that that like kind of took this from like a fun trip to like not so fun. Into the abyss. Yeah. This they, is quite possibly the worst I've ever seen here in Forest Falls. Even they didn't even have it here. Yeah, no, there was no snow at this uh, elevation. So, honestly, we may, <laughs> we're kind of laughing to ourselves, we may only get 10 feet on this trail and then have to turn back and get some uh, pizza and soda pop. <laughs> For breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, don't judge. Well, good morning, everyone. We are out here on the trail. <laughs> it is, uh, it's a little bit snowy. A little bit icy. Should be pretty interesting. Sounds like the creek is flowing. So, uh, oh, there's that guy. Looks like he's trying to find an area to cross. Or he's going up towards Vivian right now. He had said something about going up towards Vivian. Uh, but he didn't do it because the parking lot was closed. So maybe he's just hoofing it up towards Vivian and uh, seeing how far he can make it up that trail. Well, what's up, everybody? We are at the Mom Mot. My God, dude, every time. Mamir, we are at the Mamir Trail today. We are going to do a snow hike. We were here last year at the uh, pretty much the exact same time, pretty much the exact same date. And uh, there's a lot more snow this year than there was last year. So this is gonna be one interesting adventure. We're thinking that we're gonna be able to get pretty far, uh, but we'll see how far we can get. We're gonna try to get to Alger, but if you remember from last year, Alger was pretty packed and there's way more snow this year than there was last year. Uh, it'll be a good time. Well, exactly like we thought, we have literally walked hardly anything on the trail and we are already ready for micro spikes. It is completely iced over over here. We walked a few feet over there and we turned right back to, uh, to grab our micro spikes. So I'm putting mine on, Matt is putting his on. We're gonna be safe. Have a great time. that how much snow there is up there some gorgeous colors here getting to these areas where there's no snow and have uh, these intensely red flowers I guess they're kind of like a red orange really beautiful really contrast nicely with the scenery in general just that brown and that red and green and the mountains up there 
Oh, good stuff. My how the uh, my how the scenery has changed. We have a lot of snow that we've just hit here. We've pretty much gone, other than the beginning of the trail where it was super icy, uh, we've kind of gone uh, with very, very small patches of snow. And then all of a sudden, man, things just got sketchy like this. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty interesting from here on out. I think we were uh, much, much closer to Alger uh, last year before we even got this, even remotely, this level of snow. We'll see what ends up happening, man. I really want to go to Alger. really want to, you know, make a meal there, have a coffee, spend some time in the snow. But... Uh, I'm gonna do what's uh, what's safest. That's for certain. This uh, this was completely clear last year. As you can see, there's just snow everywhere right now. It's uh, it's pretty amazing. I mean, we're getting some dry spots here, but you got that right over there, which is a you know a bit of a foreshadowing of what to expect. Um, we're gonna have a heck of a lot of snow. We didn't put micros on last time till past the yeah till past the sign the fork. Yeah, so. Uh, I'm eager to see what, what lies ahead. Yeah. All right, so we made it to the sign here. We, uh, we decided to take a little bit of a break. Um, the sun was out, and it felt great. And all of a sudden, this cloud like just popped in out of nowhere, and man, did the, the uh, temperature dip. It is incredibly cold all of a sudden. Yeah, it felt great. I was kind of, I, I just kind of sweat on the trail a little bit. So I was, you know, looking forward to the sun kind of drying me up, you know, because you know how it is at the, uh, the when it's cold, sweat is the enemy. But uh, this cloud just all of a sudden rolled through, and boy, what a difference, man. I, I can really, really feel it. So we're going to get moving and start walking a little bit more, generate some heat, and uh, it's going to be interesting at Alger, to say the least. Uh, that's kind of like in this little pocket area, and uh, it's probably going to be absolutely jam-packed with snow and really, really cold in there. So we'll see how long we could even hang, even if we... If we even make it there uh but yeah it's, <laughs> we're having fun but <laughs> i'm having my doubts i don't know about matt matt uh, matt is uh usually the positive one i'm the doomsday prophet but uh cold. yeah there'll be a lot more snow than last time yeah think of this last time we went it was in the 20s when we left the vehicle this time it was probably in the 30s so it is a little warmer, but regardless, we'll be cold down there. Yeah. It's... And there will be a lot more snow. I mean, there's been snow pretty much the whole way up. So once we get in that pocket that Steve's talking about, there'll be We're a gonna... lot more snow. The good thing is people have been up the, on the trail already, so there might be a path kind of carved through. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, buddy. Look at that view. See those clouds way. Yeah. The low ones way out there. Yeah, I see them. Wow. Matt and I were walking down the trail, and we both thought we heard some like grunting or something, some kind of animal sound, almost like a bear or something like that. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe this trip has a little bit more in store for us than we even imagined. <laughs> I gotta be careful through here, dude. Holy smokes. Yeah, dude. Post hole big time. Holy moly. Wow, dude. Yeah, who even knows if we're walking on the trail per se. Wow. How about that section, huh, Matt? Yeah. Yeah, buddy. We are here at Alger Creek Camp. It's good stuff, man. That snow it wasn't too bad coming down here. It's uh let me stop down a little bit so you can actually see it. 
it wasn't too bad at all. It's, it's all broken up. So people have been through here, which made it way easier to get into uh, Alger here. So good stuff. We got our set up here. I cut myself out a little area to sit in the snow uh, on this log. Got my gear sitting over here. Uh, took the ULA circuit because I brought a bunch of layers. You know, no shock there. Um, but I'm going to start bundling up here. Um, I'm a little bit sweaty, so I'm kind of feeling the cold a little bit. But uh, once I throw my layers on, I think I'm going to be just fine. Uh, for lunch, I'm going to be having a miso soup probably. Or possibly another kind of a soup um, with uh, a ramen, like a spicy ramen. But yeah, having a good time. Pretty packed with snow here. But uh, we're making it happen. It's three. All right, so we're getting set up. The trail was uh, was pretty fun. It's actually not that bad over here at Alger. I mean, it's it's definitely more snow than the last time we were here, but uh, still, man, this is still absolutely doable. Um, totally worth it. Really glad we came out here and uh, we'll be able to have some fun. We're gonna see what we do. We're probably gonna head down towards Dobbs. Don't know if we'll make it to Dobbs again. You know, here we are again, same same situation as last year, but. That's okay, man. The snow is a plenty, and uh, the company's good. We're gonna have some lunch and make a decision after that, and uh, see what direction we go if we head towards Dobbs or we turn back. Get it, Bell Bell. Freaking gets my gophers in my house, in my in my backyard. Got one in the house, dead. Thank God. <laughs> like, but, oh, thanks. That's that's yeah. great. Get it, Bell Bell. What is it? Trying to get it worked up. Here, Bell Bell. Like the lens. Get it, Bell Bell. Get it, girl. I just want to say for the record that I am officially warm, probably for the first time ever. I brought a 10 pound jacket with me though. So it's understandable. Now, of course, Matt, he's, he's ready to go down. Tank top, dude. Yeah, to Matt's, tank ready, top Matt's ready to go down into his t-shirt. And I was like, dude, why do you gotta kill like my buzz, dude? For the first time ever, dude, I feel good about myself outdoors. And dude, it just crushes my spirit like that. Thanks, bro. <laughs> You're a bro, dude. Yeah. All right, guys, I wanna show you guys my cook kit that I brought out here for the snow hike. I did something a little bit different. Um, I know lately I've been using the Amicus and it's been working out. I, I still like the Amicus, still love the, uh, the Windmaster, but I went ahead and decided to go back to my uh, Snow Peak, um, my Snow Peak Light Max, and the reason why is because I was going to bring this uh, MSR Titan kettle out, kind of bring it back an oldie but a goodie, and what that allowed it to do was it allowed the entire uh, the entire cook kit to rest inside there, uh, or rather all the pieces in the cook kit to rest right inside there. So I got my Snow Peak uh, stove down in there, got my lighter, got my hot lips. And what's really cool here is I got my uh, my 450 cup, all right, and then I got my bandana in there. And then what's really cool is you can just plop a canister right on top of there and close this guy flush. So that's what I decided to go ahead and bring out here since I'm going to be doing some soup. So I uh, wanted to have more capacity and uh, a little bit bigger area to go ahead and uh, ladle stuff out. But uh, we're going to go ahead and put our lunch together and uh, start fattening up. Well, I guess I'm fixing to have myself uh, some <laughs> Some indigestion because I'm gonna go ahead and have some tuna before I have my my miso soup. Got some hot buffalo style tuna. Tuna Creations wanted to try this guy. See how this guy tastes. Nothing better than uh, hot buffalo style uh, tuna out on the trail out here in the snow. Both uh, both Anthony and um, and uh, Matt have had this stuff the last couple times they've been out, and I've been jealously looking at them. So now I'm going to have some of my own. It better be the most amazing thing that I've ever had in all of human history when it comes to backpacking and hiking meals. I feel like I'm setting a pretty high bar for this thing. So, yeah, good times.
Alrighty, so we are basically there. We are boiling in here. I'm gonna shut that off. Miso soup time. There you go. That's what that looks like. Right in there. Get this stirred up a little bit. Now this is this is before it's reconstituted entirely. Well, that's what we got going. So it's kind of like a broth. It's got some. Uh, it's got some. What are those things called? Seaweed, uh, water chestnuts. Seaweed, water chestnuts, and tofu. and tofu. That's what it was. Yeah, it's got tofu bits, seaweed, water chestnuts. Looks like chives probably. It's allegedly really really tasty. So. We're going to go ahead and give it a go and uh, see how we like it. I, I think it's going to do well on this trail no matter what. All right, so here's the situation that we kind of found ourselves in. We uh, were initially, what we were going to do is we were going to go ahead and go to Dobbs. What we do out of Alger here, cross the creek, and you go ahead and go up the mountain. And it's a pretty steep climb out, uh, up the mountain, but the problem is, is that the trail has not been broken. Matt went down there to go grab some water and he said that the trail is completely covered. So that means that we would have to break trail. That means we're gonna probably be post-holing um, a little bit. I don't know, dude, I don't know if we're, uh, if we can break that trail or not. Well, you not gotta, that we couldn't do it, I just. You gotta think about going down that SAR trail too. Yeah, if we go down that SAR trail. I mean, basically, it's on the, the south side of the mountain, so it's not gonna be. It's gonna be too, yeah, it'll probably be like a little bit of snow at the beginning. And then it'll it'll start to dissipate pretty quickly. I just know going through that valley before Dobbs, where you go through that little yeah. section there, it might be not. It's not going to be like mate like crazy deep, but enough to where you'd be post holing. Yeah. So I think probably the safest thing to do, and I, I don't know, we could talk about it some more maybe, but uh, I think we're probably going to uh, backtrack the way we uh, we went. So. It's not going to be too much fun to do another three, 3.7 miles. We would have had to have done a lot less had we gone the other direction. But the good thing is that once we come out of Alger, out of this initial uh, drop uh, into Alger, um, the the trail is pretty much... You go pretty quick. Yeah, you go quick, you're going down, which is, you know, it's still just equally as painful, but it's certainly better than going up, um, which we would have still had to do going towards Dobbs. Uh, we would have still had to go up first. Uh, Quite a ways up to about 7,400 feet uh, is where it kind of peaks uh, at its highest point. So if we were to go down the Sar Road, it would be about 7,300 feet. So we still have to really get up there. Uh, right here, we're at roughly about 7,000 feet, if I remember what the map said, 7,050 or so. And I mean, you see how it is out here. It's only going to be much worse when you go up another couple hundred, 300 feet, uh, 400 feet. So I think probably what we're going to end up doing is just backtracking, which, hey. We don't want Steve-O to get frostbite. Well, it's not, we don't want to get, uh, you know, Steve-O to get frostbite. We want to do what's smart. Number one, we want to go back to our families. We already saw a guy fall down the trail. Yeah, lost some his guy, dog. yeah, some guy kind of fell down the trail, <laughs> lost his dog. The dog that you saw in the video kind of going around, beautiful dog. But yeah, the guy took a spiller, man, and uh, yeah, and then the dog kind of scattered. So um, I think we're going to go ahead and make the, the right decision and probably just backtrack the way we came. Oh, there we go. My miso soup is about ready to rock and roll here, so I let it sit around for a couple, two, three minutes. Looks like everything is kind of reconstituted. The seaweed is reconstituted. Um, the tofu looks like it's basically reconstituted. So, time to take our first, uh, first slurp. Oh yeah. I see what I was missing. That's pretty good, dude. <laughs> so yeah, there, go. there you go. Miso soup, highly recommended. Yeah, buddy. Peanut M and M time. I'm gonna do something I never thought I was gonna do. Matt, would you like some? <laughs> I Don't be pulling the like. The car is like. I'm about to get in the car and you take off or no, something. No, no, I got the sharing size so I could share. Here, let me, uh... There you go. I got some... Here you go, you, you take some. I got my lighting equipment gloves. Bro, those gloves are super sick. I'm definitely going to get a set. You got the... 
mitts. Boom. That's where it's at. Having some M&Ms, some peanut M&Ms, and the snow. Oh yeah, and I'm wearing my shorts. <laughs> so the snow flurries have started. We're, we're packing up here. We're gonna get going. We saw another couple hikers. Um, they went ahead and they turned back. They, they wanted to see what the trail looked like. It was completely unbroken. They turned back. They're heading back. We're gonna be heading back here. We're packing up. And it looks like we're doing it just in time because yeah, apparently some snow flurries are starting to come down and uh, we may get some snow on the way back. We got proper gear and what have you, so I'm not worried about it, but yeah, I think it's about time we, uh, we close up shop and uh, head on back to the car. We found some interesting tracks here. Looks like they're coming from, from up there going down. Could be a person, you never know. But uh, yeah, this is about the same area where we heard that grunt. Yep. <laughs> Alright everyone, well we are done with our hike. We are going to go ahead and enjoy some food now. <laughs> this, this is what I've been waiting for all day. This right here, American burger, garlic fries, and a Coke. So much for uh, losing some calories today. I guess I'm picking them right back up. But you know, the new year is right around the corner, so you know, I'll, I'll start that.